It can be heartbreaking for parents when kids begin to pull away during the teen years. But I discovered some great ways to cope from a mom who dealt with that emotional distance and got through it while also confronting a loss in her family. I'm Diane Mocha. Welcome to Working Mom Warrior, where we help you dump your stress and self-judgment by watching stories of other moms who reveal their struggles and share their hacks. I'm a mom of two teens, and I talk to other moms with kids in high school who say it's really tough on them when their children, who used to be so affectionate and talkative, are suddenly refusing hugs and barely grunting during conversations once they become teenagers. Josephine knows that feeling. She's raising 15-year-old twin girls and a 17-year-old boy and has been doing it alone for the past five years since she lost her husband. Thankfully, she earns enough as a college admissions counselor to support her family financially, but she still had to deal with the loss emotionally just as her kids were hitting adolescence. The biggest thing like after he died was like the therapist says, take care of myself before I take care of them. So I just try to make sure I'm okay in order to take care of them. But trying to take care of yourself can feel like an uphill battle when you're worried about your relationship with your teens. Did they distance themselves at first when their dad was gone? My son did, like eighth grade and freshman year. Josephine had always been so close to all three of her children, and as distressing as it was to see her son pull away in high school, she stuck to her instincts, confident her tried and true methods would get them through the tough times. I know where they are. They have an app, Life360. That's my rule. If I pay for their phone, they have to have that app. They don't mind that they have it. Um, and so we just talk. I talk, too. I'm not just a texter. So I need to hear their voice, and so we talk. The other thing is, is in front of me, they're not allowed to be on their phones. So I think that's a big problem with kids like just looking at their phones. So if we're together, they can't really be on their phone. So I think that's helped a lot, too, because then we have to talk, especially at the dinner table. Even more importantly, Josephine tapped into a key attribute moms really need during this period, patience, year after year after year. Now her son is a senior in high school, and that chasm that seemed to have pushed them apart five years ago has dissipated. But he's, he's coming back. Um, so I think they just keep them close and ask some questions and they'll, they'll come back for sure. That's good to know. Throughout her struggles, Josephine kept the lines of communication open with her teens. You know what, I just am I'm really honest. I'm tr brutally honest with them like about drugs and about vaping and about sex. Um, about yourself and your yeah. past? So yeah, they know, they know a lot that I think other parents don't share with their kids. So. And they've said they appreciate it. They know I've made mistakes. They know, um, so they know a lot. So we are just, I'm brutally honest. So I think it's helped them because knock on wood, they haven't gotten into trouble. Now her family is as tight-knit as ever, and that's helping her navigate those big problems that teens confront. The vaping, you know, I know they tried it. We talked about it. Um, so that was a big one. They even tell me things I don't want to hear. Um, but I won't judge and um, I'll just give them my opinion. Of course, if it's bad, then I stop them. Reconnecting with all her children when they were ready helped Josephine figure out how to take care of herself. Exercising, I try to make sure I do like yoga or some sort of exercise. I make sure they work out too because I think it's best for everybody. So we, we try to stay active. Now Josephine has a new special person in her life and she's planning for the future. But that can't happen when we're mired down in problems of the present. And that's what happened to the mom in this next story. She had so much going on with multiple jobs and caring for her child and aging parents that she didn't realize she was hurting herself. Check out her story to find out what moms like her do to regain their health and happiness. And don't forget to spread a little love to another mom who needs it.